gives us nothing but take from them everything. Welcome back to the Metal Hand of God podcast. I am your host, Wayne, and with me today is not the rum guy. He is suffering somewhere. But today we have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Vernon Smith. Who doesn't have AIDS, yes. Yes, yes. But we have an incredible guest today, the planet destroyer, the human enslaver. I guess that would be a word, right? Yes. <laughs> Chiz Mac the Gusher from Gwar is on the show. What's up, my friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. It's Chiz Mac. Great. I feel like I just got bumped on Carson. I'm with the scrub team here. <laughs> hey, he's the original guy. Uh, he, he, he called in sick. He's got, what has he got, COVID? Supposedly. We'll see. Uh, we, we'll see. We hope. We hope. No, look. This shit is serious, and, I'm, and yeah. Gwar is really happy it's killing a lot of human beings. We're just sad <laughs> that... We are not killing a lot of human beings, and this virus is doing it for us. I mean, like, I need to work, too. You know? like, <laughs> if, So I hope he survives just so I can kill him for fucking bumping me and not even showing up to the interview. You think you would have done this shit to Blothar, my singer? He would not. No, of yeah, course not. Exactly. So he so better what? survive this. Best of luck to him. But that's only until he meets me. <laughs> yeah, so what you should do is, like, tattoo COVID on your dick, if you haven't already, and then just shove it down his throat <laughs> until he chokes. No, I'm more of the – I like to shove the rubber sword up someone's ass. That's more my MO. Oh, nice. Oh, well, um, I'll remember – remind me to give you my number after this, and we can get together. <laughs> yep, just like Mom used to say, bend over and keep it tight. <laughs> she she still says that to me. <laughs> so man, that's a beautiful woman you got right there. <laughs> that's, uh, a beautiful woman. So she certainly is. I dig her up and I terrific. and I tell her that every night. <laughs> so what the hell is Guar doing now that you guys can't travel and get more slaves and kill people? Well, we're always doing drugs. Oh well, yeah. Well, I, well, I mean, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking working, man. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. Gua, of course, Guar is working. Guar is always working. Like we're on social media everywhere, Facebook Live chats and this and that and promos, and we got a new uh, website, Guar.net, and a selling a 30th anniversary box set of Scum Dogs of the Universe. It's 30 years old this year. And it's beautiful. Uh, we're, doing shit. we're making a fucking variety show. We're going to do a live concert on the web. Like, Guar's never, the machine never stops because we always need crack. Yes. <laughs> you know, and if you don't have crack, then the machine stops. Then you so need it's it. It's kind of like this Catch-22, like, the machine doesn't stop because it needs to buy crack. And then we need crack to make the machine go. And it's just round and round. Because when the crack breaks here. down, the machine breaks down. That's right. It's terrible. I think that was the quote from Platoon. Is it? Yes. I don't think so. I think you're wrong on that one. I really, really do. They had crack in Vietnam. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, but that was completely different type of crack. <laughs> <Right. laughs> um, <laughs> Little yellow crack. Yes. Uh, yes. Vietnam. Hasn't COVID already killed more people in America than Vietnam? I think so. I think it has. I love it. I love it. I saw the news today. I don't really read the news because, you know, Gore can't read. But I watched <laughs> it, and it said that America was number one in the globe for the most deaths, and that makes me so proud because we're, we're number one. Currently. We currently got stuck in America once the pandemic hit, so we didn't get to go back to Antarctica. But you know, America's number one, so hey, that's great. Yeah, in your cap, boys. <laughs> Man, I you know I've been following you guys since oh eighty eight. Hello. Yeah. Right on. And, since and the inception. Yeah, and I've actually seen you guys uh, close to thirteen times. I believe. I think it's close. To, yeah. Nice. Every Lucky time you. Thirteen. Every Lucky time 13. you guys come to my town, New Orleans, I go to see you. Oh shit! The House of Blues. Yes, the House of Blues. The smallest. So, 
the smallest house. You know, we just call that the house of booze. <laughs> <laughs> we don't fucking ever leave New Orleans. Like, it'll be like six in the morning and like some <laughs> sleazy piece trying to chase us down in the streets over at fucking Aaron Rose or some fucking <laughs> where to try to get us to leave. And we're like, no, no, we're not getting on the bat shape helicopter. We don't want to leave. <laughs> I mean, Guar in New Orleans, that's synonymous the sinners and the city of sin. Yes. The la- yeah. the last show you guys played here was uh at the Joy Theater. Uh I think it was was that uh November. Was that the last yes, one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was my son's very first time seeing you guys and he was he, Oh, you're wow. a terrible he's, parent. And he's 4. <laughs> <laughs> you're a terrible parent for bringing a child to a bar show. He loves it. You're going to sacrifice it so that you can still go out and party. Like man, <laughs> <laughs> you can bring a kid to the bar show. No, like, man. Let Gwar feed it to the meat grinder, <laughs> and then you get your life back. Well, you see, he loves you guys, man. His favorite song is, uh, oh, God, I'm uh, the first song off of America Must Be Destroyed. Ham on a Bone. That's his favorite That's his favorite song by you guys. And, and he, it's going to be his favorite when he's 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I, I always think of it. I'm like, dude, if you only knew what the lyrics were when you're singing it, you're a four-year-old kid. <laughs> The but, kids got taste. Yeah, yeah. Kids got taste. Yeah, he enjoys unless, it. Unless, unless he rebels at thirteen and just goes like completely opposite, just middle yeah. of the road radio he goes, pop. He just goes music. Justin Timberlake. Pro- right. It yeah. probably will end up like JT. that. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Bieber. I got a lot of respect for Justin Timberlake. Actually, that guy, he's amazing. You yeah. got to bring it on down to Veganville. You know, like he's <laughs> fucking talent. Um. I sacrificed many, many uh, girlfriends and wives to him <laughs> all the time. It just, he just keeps sharpening them up. He's got, you know, the kid can act. I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I can't say enough good things about Justin Timberlake. Like, we keep him around once in a while. You know, we could have killed him years ago, but we're mm-hmm. like, nah. Yeah, he's got. He brought the good drugs and all the. <laughs> shit, so he we looks. Cool. He looks like the kind of guy that brings in the good drugs. He really yeah. does, because he's got the. You know, he's got the money to bring in whatever he wants. Yeah, he's giving out Christmas bonuses. I'm not even in his band. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just like, hey, let's go to Vegas. Let's do it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> the, oh, speaking speaking of this uh, 30th anniversary of Scum Dogs, man. First off, I can't believe that album is that old. Like, really? It, like, I remember when I first bought that record. I don't <laughs> just think that means you're that old. I, that's, 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 that's what I was going to say. That's the point, man. I'm just sitting <laughs> yeah, there going. What do we need you for, Vernon? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Because you need me to repeat every fifth or sixth thing that Wayne says, That's right. just to kind of drive it home. I'm, I'm the, I'm the. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're the, guy. you're the Sigourney Weaver off of uh, Galaxy Quest. You just repeat the computer. <laughs> repeat the computer. <laughs> Hang on, Man. I gotta crush a few heads. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Actually, that sounds like uh, ice going into a bourbon glass. Sorry, but that's okay. <laughs> that that, that works too. Like I was work. someone's head. <laughs> what what kind of bourbon? What's that? What's uh, the question? I just said, what kind of bourbon? Um, actually, tonight's choice is Buffalo Trace. Nice, made Ooh. by a fine Japanese company that has been purchasing up American companies since 1999. Fantastic. Do we own anything? America doesn't own anything anymore, does it? No. Um, we we no. own the right to get upset about things. Yes, we do. We, we do. Own, we own that we are number one in death during this <laughs> pandemic. We we we, we do have that. that. We do have that. Um, yep, we just we just beat out the Vietnam War. Yeah. <laughs> Vietnam needs to get get its shit together. I bet America's also number one in push ups. Mm, I, I, I don't think so. Not, not from the people I think, I see walking around. Uh, yeah. No, am I wrong? <laughs> I think am maybe I Russia. Some place in Scandinavia that does more push-ups than America. Probably. No, I think I think Russia's got more push-ups than us. I oh, think there's yeah, any place. Guys. If you if you got if you got a leader that looks like Putin, man, you know, <laughs> he's probably Sweet. doing you know, just do some push-ups. 
Oh, sweet baby Putin. I think so 10 gentle. feet from any of our borders does more push-ups than we do. You're probably right. You're probably right. Uh, we do a lot Maybe of... Maybe more push-ups than you guys do. Hey, dude, I can tell you what. America's number one in buffets. That's what I think. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I found that out with beefcake. <laughs> in the early in the early nineties, buffets. We were eating we were eating entire lobsters. <laughs> that was awesome. Shell and all. Just like fuck it, let's uh, go. Just, yeah, just chuck them down. Just <laughs> Are you gonna ask any serious questions? Are you guys gonna jerk each other off? What's going we're on? We're just gonna jerk off, man. That's that's what we do. Why does it have so, to be a choice? So where where does this air? What is this? Is this a podcast? What is this, this is a podcast. It airs on uh, our our little thing on Podbean and uh, our website and all over the place. It airs. Right. It, it, go, it actually airs all over. If you want, it airs all over the world. So yeah, podcasts are great. They're all over the fucking place. I love it. There's a bunch out there. You know, I don't want to name any names because they're not paying me to. But <laughs> um, you just name this one then. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. What's the name of this podcast? <laughs> the Metal Hand of God Podcast. What? The Metal Hand of God Podcast. Oh, Metal Hand of God Podcast. Yeah. Yep. That's us. Yeah, I, that's... Can't wait to, I can't wait to kill both of you after this interview. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the last. This will be the last broadcast of Metal Hand of God. Well, yeah, we got uh, the one for everyone listening right now. Just so you know, they will not be back next week. <laughs> Uh, there you go, guys. Well, Thank no. you. We're going to sign off and die after this. So uh, we appreciate you guys yep. listening to us over eight years. That's great. No, actually, so we... I'd like to propose something else. Yes. Instead of it being the last Excellent. episode, because I could obviously kill you through the phone and this technology. Let's just make me a guest on a monthly or weekly basis, just where I just pop in and talk with everybody else that you have on. I, we I'll, could do that. I'll, or... Just hourly when i create my own podcast you quit yours and just work for me i'm down let's do it because i don't know anything about technology i would bar, bar i'll have to think about hammers it. and stone <laughs> we'll definitely help you dude not a problem 100 percent. and you are more than welcome to come back on here and do interviews with me that would be fantastic I interview i want to interview someone on your show with you that's what i'm saying yeah yeah come on that would be fantastic. That would be hysterical. We'd, I'd love it. Hey, let's uh, let's do it now, and I can talk about anything that I'm working on. Um, so <laughs> go. What you got? Make it interesting. All right. That was great. Um, tune in next time. Let's, uh, let's go to the phones. Take some calls. Are we he still... thinks he's doing the fucking Jerry Lewis telephone. He, he is, man. The <laughs> podcast. Give the time, kid. Well, I'm surrounded by a bunch of kids with MS, so that's my first instinct. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, their fucking tiny hands make your junk look so huge. <laughs> <laughs> but their giant heads and squeaky voices fuck it all up. So you <laughs> talked about a variety show. Yeah, that's what I was about to huh? ask. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm trying to. I'm not. Look, I'm not promising anything. I'm just talking. You are here. Look, war is you... all over the goddamn map. We're not letting Corona take us out. We're still doing stuff. We still got plans for touring. We still got product coming out. We still have a new website. We might even have an online variety show of some sorts, or a talk show, or something. We're probably gonna have paid pay-per-view events and concerts that are going to happen and when we get back to a live stage where we can kill humans up close with swords <laughs> like we like we will still be doing stuff on the social media and on the That's internet good. because you human beings just cannot put the fucking device down long enough to actually have a conversation with one another and understand each other and it's kind of tragic it's great for Guar. I mean, it keeps me in shoes or whatever. <laughs> but you guys, it's like it's like you just found out what your dick was and you're just playing with it all the time. You cannot put the fucking phones down. It's ridiculous. And it's good for us too because more people listen to us now that uh, they don't get rid of these phones and stick them in their hands. You know. Well, I don't that's even a great have one. thing. That's a great thing. You got access to excess, and who doesn't want that? Exactly. I mean, Guar always wants access to excess. 
and everyone in America wants it. And I think Jim Morrison might have been the first guy that had the most <laughs> access to access. So that's why he's dead. <laughs> but, a but, great role model. Between you and Saw Borg Destructo, I don't know who posts the most videos from Guar. Um, All I know is my sleazy B martini manager has me doing this cameo thing where he gets all the money and I have to do like happy birthdays and bar mitzvah (laughs) salutations to people. And this is the stupidest thing ever. So I'm like reading. I can't read. I have to have a slave like type it into a stenograph or whatever so that I can. And then I just do these things and sleazy gets all the money. Of course and, he does, uh, and you know, but you got to do a couple, you know. So why you got the, why you got the attention of the four-year-old birthday that you're doing? <laughs> you might want to address a PSA about Trump's drug use, which is amazing. I'm so glad a president finally admitted that he was doing drugs. Welcome to the dark side, Donald Trump. He's doing the. The quatloons or whatever that shit is, and we're quatloons. I mean, you know, like we just fucking we huff bleach on a daily basis. Like, why isn't why is that not normal to the American public? You should be shooting it in your veins, huffing it, smoking it. Is fucking taking a whiz? <laughs> I was gonna say, is somebody taking a piss? Sound. Uh, I thought that was the sound of heads being bashed. <laughs> Sounded like somebody was taking a piss. Uh, that was the Martin? sound of me pissing Martin. into the heads of all the Jerry Lewis Teleton children that oh, okay. we're apparently not doing a show for. So, hey, my my motto is "fuck the kids." Jerry Lewis was the greatest. Jerry Lewis was a great comedian. He really was. Ladies, so uh, what was the best cameo that you've done? I did a cameo. There's a lot of them that are fun to do because we get to do the normal. We get to, you know, berate people and humans in particular. And that's what they want. They actually request that. (laughs) But I think the the coolest one was some parents, and they were bad parents because they (laughs) uh, cameo from Kismak to their daughter for her first day of school. (laughs) <laughs> that was what the parents thought would be cool for their daughter's first day of school That's and so it good. was a nice message you know like oh i'll kill all the monsters under your bed and drink your milk and try real hard and then i'm gonna come kill your parents <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be orphaned that wasn't i didn't i thought that cameo really it almost it got me. It got me a little bit. I was I kind of choked up. You had a little tear. God, now a little tear. I'm, I'm tempted to do one now because I just got my daughter's report card in the mail, and now was it good? I'm, I'm, it, it was. <laughs> All right, it was there you go. And... You are so stupid. Report <laughs> <laughs> card is shit. You are. You'll never learn anything. <laughs> it's not too late to abort you. <laughs> yeah. Just. Something, something like up that. Up to eighteen years. Um, up to eighteen, 18 years. years. Bar, <laughs> bar supports abortion up to eighteen years old. <laughs> right. One, one of the uh, the the coolest things the is eighteenth trimester. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I got, we got to uh, we get to hang out with uh, Sawborg and Sleazy P at a uh, comic book convention over here in New Orleans in Louisiana. And uh, uh yeah. yeah, how boring was that? That must have been real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the The best thing was though that uh, Sawborg FaceTimed my four year old son, and he had a <laughs> he had like this big shit eating grin on his face the whole time. But you know, and it was the same thing. We t- he told him to eat his vegetables and go to school. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Sawborg does that stuff. He's trying to infiltrate the humans so that. He can trick Guar into going back into outer space. He's hmm. trying to align with you guys and do nice things for the human beings, which is a mongrel race that we created by <laughs> fucking apes in the first place. And he's trying to like get us back there to serve the master or go to court in outer space. And we're like, man, fuck that guy. He is a dick. Yeah. Why are you why are you so opposed to it though? 
Why am I so opposed to it? I mean, I hate it here, but I know <laughs> drugs are better here than out there. You ever had space drugs, dude? They suck. Come on. I, I, yeah. There's no dude, good I, drugs in outer space. God, what the fuck's wrong with you, I Vernon? Come from the wide, I come from the wide, dude, wide my, my... world of sports. Like, that's the only drug out there is steroids. Like, we're just eating IGF-1. <laughs> my, Wayne, you know my parents died of space drugs. I, I'm, I'm that's, sorry. It's it's a really sensitive topic. Uh, so I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I did not mean I, to bring that up. I, I, I I'm sorry, I offended you. So no, I haven't done space drugs, and I'm I'm not <laughs> ashamed to say that. Um, and yeah, they, don't they suck? Stay here and on planet Earth and do good drugs. I've I've actually I've never left the planet, so yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. and you never will. I'm following your <laughs> I'm advice. Sorry to, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to crush your dreams, Vernon. Well, I'll, 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 I mean, unless you pay what was it like seven million dollars to Elon Musk to go in space, something like that. I, I might do oh. that. I got to see. Hey, didn't they just they just blasted a man into space, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, they already got scrubbed for weather. They got yeah, yeah, yeah. Weather. I think it's gonna redo Saturday. I think Saturday they're gonna try to do it. Yeah, I it's like a redo. Saturday. You know, when you're playing street baseball and you shoot the ball and you hit it into the gutter, <laughs> yeah. and like the ball's just gone, you just break out another ball and like right. redo. Yeah, fuck it, we'll do it over here. What I think is they didn't have enough people watching the live stream, so they're like, eh, fuck it, we'll we'll postpone it now. Yeah, they didn't watch the live stream because I don't know who was on who was on that night. Clutch <laughs> just did their live stream right. last night. Was right. Clutch? Everyone was watching Clutch. Well, and well, not watching Nassau. Well, what they or did, Musk or whatever. Well, what they did was they put it on during the day where people go to work. It's like, all right, we're gonna have this blast off at three o'clock. People are picking up their kids from wherever they got to work, and, and it's like, no, they're not. Their kids are at home and they're in pajamas with bunny slippers <laughs> laying on their couch, like working from home. Well, and, let me tell you, I, I'm not experiencing that because I've been working and, and my kid is, he goes to a daycare, so they're open. So, oh, oh really? wow. Well, good yeah. for you. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. He won't live long. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I, I already had the COVID, um, and, uh, you know, I tested positive for the COVID, and I I, uh, I beat it, and my family didn't get it, so I hey, think it'd Brian, be okay. get it together. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just watching TV, so it's making me laugh. Oh, oh shut cool, fuck yeah. up. All right, whatever, Danny Thomas spit take, you fucking <laughs> it, It's Big Bang Theory. It's hilarious. Oh. Yuck. Ugh. Oh. Not so. Yes. Man, more power to you for being a bad parent and bringing your kid to the Guar show. No problem. I mean, we need more bad parents out there like you. I'm like fully I... endorsing this podcast <laughs> just based on that one fact alone that I, I've learned about you over the course of this interview. But how long is this shit going to take? Because I've got shit to do. Well, man, you got shit to do. Well, then that's fine, man. You, if you need to head out and go crush some humans or do something fucked up, you are more than welcome to go ahead. No, ask you, ask me some more questions. It's oh, all right, ego. all right, no problem, no problem. Well, my question we to just... you, man, is is you guys are uh, getting, you're going to retour, start touring again. Do you have any idea when that might be? You know, it's a weird question uh, to ask. Obviously, it would seem that at this point, everyone knows the answer that. No band is going to tour until yeah. 2021, yeah, that's which, what I is, which is just the craziest thought ever that we can't get you humans amassed <laughs> in these fucking cannibalistic blood orgy concerts that are so great. You know, everyone loves them. We love them. You love them. Yeah. You know, and, and that's just, I'm just calling bullshit on it. You know, that's just a crappy thing that has to happen, you know, because it's mostly... I don't even know if it's the disease. It just could be like, it takes a long time to plan those things. The promoters are too scared. The governors won't do it. Who gives a shit? All I see is there's a lot of people telling you guys what to do. And it's based on some real bullshit. But then again, as you see some numbers pile up, it might base, it might be based on some fact too. Like, I don't want anyone to die. That's not at a guar show. <laughs> That's my that's my motto. I'm sticking to it. And okay, well, since that's true, I mean, I, I agree with you on that because 
uh, over here, like I, I do booking for a small venue out here and there is still no, like nobody's, the small venues are probably going to end up dying out because of well, this. Well, there's a cool thing that I, that I did on social media. Um, and it's for a great friend and a good cause. A lot of crew guys. There's a couple of things. There's save our stages dot mm -hmm. com or hashtag and there's nomads they're doing a bunch of auctions of like cool uh music memorabilia nice so that you know they can raise money for tech guys and crew guys and stuff that are completely fucked and yeah. out of work right now you know so there's a lot of good stuff going out there like that goodwill so that when the machine does come back we still have people to actually run it Right. But that's going to be a thing, you know. You're going to be like, oh, I wanted to go to this show, but oh, those places are closed. Yeah. Because they didn't, they didn't survive this shit because no one supported them. Right. So, hey, everybody on the podcast listening, <clears throat> why not go to saveourstages.com and why not fucking support crew shit, you know? Yeah. Those are the guys we need to put on a show. I mean, if we kill every crew after every show and we have to get a whole new crew but Man. you know there, there's plenty to go around but that means there's a lot of people out of work right now exactly right? exactly yeah. yeah and 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 like you said if, if you can't help support these guys there will be no big shows there will be no small shows so, you know it, it's without the crews it's hard for those guys i mean to set up all you know all the shit that they do and all their lighting rigs and all that stuff you don't expect guar yeah. to do that the right? one the one good thing is called nomads uh -huh. nomads they're supporting the crew guys save our stages i don't know those are just the two places that i know you know music cares is a great charity you know get uh money to musicians and crew guys so nice. that once we do get to play some shows <clears throat> Like you actually have some people to fucking do it, but right. I, I'm afraid that uh, America and the independent promoter and the independent venue, those things are going to fucking close up and we're going to look at a different landscape come 2021 and, and beyond. And we're like, Oh yeah, I used to love that place. They had the greatest music and it's just going to be gone. Yeah. And it's, you know? it's going to be a, it's going to be a whole new world when, when everything decides to open up again. Like, uh, the days have gone of actual handshakes and, uh, you know, shit like that. I think right. a lot, I think a lot of people are going to be real standoffish about all this stuff and, uh, you know, that stuff like that, uh, especially going yeah. to, going to venues. Like uh, a lot of people are going to be freaked out about that at first too. Well, the last show that I saw showed up because I wanted to kill that fucking punk singer for the dead Kennedys that fucking faker. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's not even a real singer. Fuck that guy. He showed up there and that was like middle of March and I'm just looking in the pit. You know, of course I'm in the, you know, the opulent VIP balcony with well, of course. Don Sam and a bunch of hookers and I'm looking down in the pit and it's just like mayhem and sweaty, and I'm like, these people are all gonna die, and it's not a guar <laughs> show. I totally cried. I, I, the Dead Kennedys sucked and played like shit. They didn't have the original singer. What? It's like one of the bands that was the most important to guar in the early years, and it was just a travesty. I got kids gonna die from COVID. I got a crappy singer. Oh, it's just Terrible. <laughs> and that's my last experience outside before this shit happened. <sighs> yeah, um, that we had what was it? The was it a Black Flag show was supposed to be here, and Black Flag was was like there's one original member in Black Flag, I think, and the it's Greg Ginn, right? Yeah, yeah, and the rest of the guys are different. Like, um, I forget what's his name is singing. There's a skateboard guy singing for him now. Fuck, I can't think of his name offhand. But anyway. Great, way to do your research for your hey, podcast. Hey, I wasn't expecting to talk about Black Flag. <laughs> <laughs> way to bring up some shit you don't know. You sound, you know what? You, sound like, you what? sound like Karen in Georgia from My Favorite Murder. <laughs> Those two fucking bras can't fucking remember anyone's name. <laughs> or fuck, they have the biggest podcast ever. You should just make shit up like they do. I should, I should, because... And it would it, just be the greatest. It's, It'd be number one. It's funny that you bring that up, because my wife actually listens what? to that fucking shit. Oh, was it, was it my Gator? Favorite murder. We need to know how to do this on, a, on the American scale. We listen to My Favorite Murder. Jesus. 
Is, is it Gator that. that's singing it's for them people now? dying. What yeah. doesn't Gore love about people dying? The, sing- the singer is Mike Valley, by the way. Oh, oh I, I, I just, thought maybe I just, it was Mark. I just oh, yeah, remember yeah, yeah. Mike Valley the skater. Yeah, I, I knew it was a skateboard guy. I just couldn't remember his name. Sorry. Yeah, yeah Mark Vallejo. Yes, Mark Vallejo. Yeah. No. Yeah, he's awesome. He's great. What has he done lately? Nothing. No, no. So you guys have a board game coming out. No. Oh, I wish it would come out already. All these fucking D and D nerds. <laughs> I wish it would come out already too, because I saw yeah. I, I saw that this thing demoed at that that uh that comic convention, and I was super you excited in about it. Were you no, there? no, no. It was at the one in New Orleans, the one in Louisiana. They actually had a a copy of it there, and they showed it, and and I was like super stoked about it. And then they told me it may not come out for a while. No, it's coming. It's coming. Because uh, I don't I don't know how to speak to this generally, but <laughs> if it doesn't hit the market soon, I'm going over to the corporate headquarters and I'm shredding heads because that game is awesome. Yeah, it's been on the market. We did the con. We did the the con in Indianapolis. We sold all the games out in the first two days. Wow! Thank God, because nice. no one wanted to be there Sunday. <laughs> the demos of the game 24 hour game room it was amazing 60,000 people everyone loved it oh, man. I was like hurry up but what they did was they took that uh, hype on it and they went back and was like look we're gonna add some crazy shit to this game some holographic cards we're gonna add right. a couple of weird demo things and so I think it's in production where they just wanted to before they released it they wanted to get some actually other cool stuff in the box awesome other than the one that people got to buy at the con. So, yeah, there's, there's going to be some cool new moves and all the holographic cards and weirdo shit. I mean, I don't know much about gaming, but I had a great time at the convention. Of course, you know, yeah, I'm... standard drugs, <laughs> booze, broads, and blow. Like, that's, you know. Yeah, I'll go to any convention. When, when I saw it, I was like, "What is this?" You know, I was like, "What? What?" what? I didn't understand at first, and I thought it was a board game. You know, I was like, it, "I just they got this weird box over there. I'm gonna go see it. it. Must be selling something." So I went and looked, and I was like, "Holy shit! When does this come out?" You know, I'm like, "I have to own one." And uh, it's no, it's intense. It's intense. It's good. It's a good game. It's it's pretty easy to play. You know, obviously, like most of those cardboard games, yeah, they're pretty they're pretty intricate. You know, you got to learn how to. But it comes with the playing field. It comes with, like, you know, the fold-out Monopoly board. Fucking cool. And, you know, know how to stack. It's got every single Guar character, every single Guar enemy, all of that That's stuff. That's so cool, it, man. man. It's, it's intense watching those those fucking nerds play that shit. That's so fucking cool. Is is it, like, uh, all cards, or is it, like, little, like, No, figures? it's all cards. It's all cards. Oh, okay. This is the card. This is a tabletop card game. All right, yeah. cool. So the art is all original Guar art. It's crazy. Every card. I mean, they they give you two huge decks of cards. It's like two hundred cards uh-huh. in the box and the and the playing table and all that stuff. It's pretty. It's pretty rad. I've and been so the car- I watched them play it, and it looks like like the guys who play that game, they pick up on it right away because they know that style of of like card game, right? Right, right, so right. It's like it's like magic or whatever. And but this, even um, for me, that knows nothing about that card game. I was like, I could probably pick them on that pretty, pretty quick. Well, that's good because yeah. I always find, like, I don't know, I, I never could get into tabletop cards because I was confused by it most of the time. I was like, what the fuck is this? You know, I played D&D before as a, as a kid, but it's a whole different animal was the, was to the me, to the card games. Right. Are the uh, Are the character cards like photos or is it like? Art like painting or drawing or something renditions. I think it's you guys. a little bit of both, but it's mostly like graphic art. All right, cool. That's written in every single Guar lore, every enemy, every Guar. Holy shit! Has, really? Has yeah. a, cool. has a card. Everyone's got Jismag. We all have like power and. I've heard of that guy. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, you better have heard of me. I've been the goddamn <laughs> beating machine for Guar for fucking goddamn thirty-two years. That's crazy, man. Thirty-two. Dude, I years. had I had Hello on vinyl when it came out. Like I, I know. Um, All right, that wasn't me. Hello was I, I like, know. recorded I, over the phone. You, you that were sounds um, like shit. 
Gore started to sound good. You were scum, scum dogs. Scum dogs, man. Scum yeah. dogs yeah. all hey, the way. Have you guys checked out the? Have you guys checked out the Scum Dogs box set? I, I've seen it. I, I was gonna order one, and it was sold out. I was like, okay, it's sold out. They so. are not sold out. You fucking liar. No, Look, dude. Go to Guar.net. Everyone on this podcast, go to Guar.net and buy the 30th anniversary Scum Dogs box set. It's there's, incredible. There's only a thousand of these things made. So if you don't do it by the time this podcast airs, you probably. If you're listening to this right now, you're probably already dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went to buy it, and I was going to buy the autographed version, and that one was sold out. Well, we we upped it. We oh, you did. Some, we do it. We're doing a few more autographed versions. Sweet. I think. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. That, that's very. It's very impressive, dude. I, I looked at it out, and that, like I said, that was the first album I owned by y'all, and. Uh, you know, from that point on, I was just hooked, and I've, I got hello before after that, and uh, and I think the first time I saw y'all was when you guys were on tour for America Must Be Destroyed, which, oh, fuck, like I said, it was in ninety maybe, ninety one, not... probably ninety two. Yeah, you you played in a little place called the New Orleans Music Hall. And, oh, yeah, I was there. Music hall, what a fucking purgatory that is. <laughs> I was there. That was, oh, dude, Jesus that was the first Christ. time I got covered in blood and jizz. Yeah, yeah and, and, cool, and, it was It was so hot in there. Yes, dude. And, and, oh. and the fluids were so cold. And it was, I was like, oh, yeah. I never thought I'd be screaming to be covered in blood and cum. <laughs> See, that's the greatest thing about Guar. It's like normal human fluids are hot. So if you get yeah. covered in piss and jizz, it's like warm. But with it's, war, it's cold because we're from it's Antarctica. Antarctica. Yeah, yeah, we're from Antarctica. So yeah, what, one of the things I remember the, the most. reverse effect to keep you coming back for more, like little suckling like birds. And it's it's right. probably it's probably all the crack too. You know, you guys expelling some of it, so it's probably you probably piss out pure crack. The next show Guar does, we're gonna uh, spew out. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> Burn, yeah. Burning people's eyes. Ah! It's just going to be, everyone's eyes will be burning, which will be joyful. The, the one the thing. The tickets I, will be $800. Yeah, day. yeah. Because it costs that much for the sanitizer. Uh, the one thing I remember about that show, uh, not only just being, it was really cool because it was the first time I saw you guys, but it was. I How be- old were you? Um, uh, fuck, thirteen I was maybe seven, sixteen. I was. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. am I? I'm, I'm like two years older than you. Yeah, so I was like, you? yeah, so like, yeah, I was like fifteen, sixteen, somewhere. In that yeah, area. I was, I was in high school. Yeah, me too. Freak, fucking sweet. <laughs> and the perfect age, right? Yeah, dude. Right. Uh, did, you, did you drop acid? No, I don't. I, I never did. I've never dropped acid. I, I man, I quit really by out. then. 16 is the perfect age to drop acid and see Guar. Wow. I'm put, just putting it out there on the cast. Uh, the re- I'd quit doing it by then. By then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I did it like when I was 15 a couple of times. I was like, yeah, this is this not is for you. Not yeah. for, for my brain. Um, well, what's the matter with your brain? It, it, it has a hard time distinguishing hallucinations from reality. So it, it just it, uh, it decides to. So you can shoot your parents in that moment. Remember when the guy, where's that guy who took 15 hits of acid and he shot his uncle and his dad? Yeah, and drove, I remember that. And then he drove to Wyoming. What a great Ew. story. That's awesome. That's, that's <laughs> horrible. It's like, the, that, they, did, they did not show that on that uh, documentary I watched on Netflix about a drop of acid. That was not on there. That's that's a horrific story. I mean, Wyoming? Ew. Well, usually, yeah, Wyoming. Who the fuck wants to go Why would you there? go there? Right. Damn, it's like being brain dead. Yeah. <laughs> the, hey, the, drugs, the best sure. part about states up there in the north and the cold, no one wants to go there, right? It's cold. It's north. But, you know, Guar doesn't care. So we always often tour and go to these, these places, Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota. My favorite is Fargo, North Dakota. And this is not because of the movie Fargo. Fuck that shit. At a our movie? show, there was a really pregnant girl. She was probably about 11. Eleven. <laughs> and she was holding a beer and smoking a cigarette. 
when you could do that inside of a venue. Oh, you can still do that here. I, the security guard walked up to her and grabbed her beer and said, ma'am, I can't have you drink that. And she <laughs> raised up her arm with her wristbands like, I'm old enough. <laughs> <laughs> And I, and I was like, I was like, that's when I fell in love with fucking North Korea. I mean, that might be the that might be the sweet spot in America because no one can go there. No one wants to go there. It's cold as fucking anything, and it reminds me of my homeland, Antarctica. So. I'm old enough. Did, did, did you get a enough. name? I want to meet. I want to meet Don't this take girl. Take my beer. <laughs> Jesus. That's fucking crazy, man. <laughs> Holy shit. She was at least eight months pregnant. God. She might have been. I swear to God, she she couldn't have been over 11. That's so fucking crazy, man. Oh, man. Well, well, then the baby's already developed at that point. It's fine. Go what? The, the one carrying it or the, the baby carrying it? We're both. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the one inside. It's fine. It's it's developed enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vernon earns a new respect with Jizz Max. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing about Vernon is he, he does children's books. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hey, look. Hey, can you do a children's? I got a children's book. Jizz Max has a children's book coming out. It's about All right. a cat. And I'm serious, you guys. You got to ping me. All right. Don't put this on the podcast. We'll just talk about this later. All right. I've got, I've got, some, I've got some Vietnam War stories about this cat. That we have to put into a children's book. He curses a little bit, but it's okay. We'll we'll mold it over with the with the uh, the uh, what is it called? Uh, what's the organization? Another curse word. PTA. The PTA. Oh. We'll, we'll make sure the PTA is all involved. <laughs> okay. I'm serious. So you, you well, you can you can just you can just cover it up like in the book, like where the cat would say like fuck, then you just kind of black that out and cover it up with the word shit, and it'll be yeah, fine. No, it's kind of gonna be like a Marlon Bundo, you know, with John Oliver. It's kind of gonna be like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good one. It's a good, this is a good. One. This is actually probably would be better than Marlon Bundo. All right. But, if you actually have a publisher that does children's books, me and you, Vernon, we're yeah. gonna be good drug buddies. Let's let's do it. <laughs> all right, so I'm, I'm drawing it right now. All right, so hold on a second. Do you want me to cut that out? Hey man, I don't I don't give a shit. I'm here. <laughs> okay, no, I'm just I'm making sure. Is Mac? Just making sure, bro. Talking to you, human filth, you fucking maggots. <laughs> Listen to this podcast. And if you're probably listening right now, you're probably already dead. But hey, what do you got to lose? So, <laughs> so we know you're not going to tour for a whole year. What do you mean? We're always going to tour for a year. We'll for a always year. be on tour. Uh, but all I, right, where can we catch you this weekend? I want to know. This no, this is what I want to know. I want to know what's up with the live show because I've seen you guys advertise it a few times. What do you mean? What's up with the live show? Advertise what? Advertise the live stream. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So they're, they're, you pathetic humans are trying to figure out your technology to live stream a live show. Yes. I think Clutch just did it. They did. Our booking agent wants us to do it. I mean, it could work, right? We might we might do one. We're going to announce that stuff later. Oh, okay. All right. And, you know, uh, if we do one, it's not going to be like a fucking laptop set up in a garage. <laughs> Oh, come on. Why not? Because that, you know what? You can pay money for shit like that. But, like, that's what, not, that's not what Guar's about. You know? Like, oh, you, let me just look at a static shot of a band. Right, the right. Four songs, you're bored. Why would you pay money for that? You're right. You are correct. Yeah. So, when Guar does it, it's going to be fucking full on over the top. That's going to be awesome. Whether it's our goddamn reality TV show, whether it's our goddamn fucking sketch show or talk show, a live concert, Guar's going to be coming at you full bore on the fucking internet, on your device, and we'll still be in the venues too. Guar doesn't die. It's immortal. Nice. I agree with that. I really do. Um, and, and every time I've seen you guys live, you get better every time. 
just just to let you know. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Keep going. I'm almost there. You almost there? You almost there? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm almost there, bro. Just, 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 oh, man, you know. The, the, the way that you play your drums. Oh, the way the, you beat those uh, skins. Dude. Shut up, maggot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, right. daddy. You got enough? Do you have the best interview of your fucking stupid podcast career or what? I think so, yeah. man. This has fucking been awesome. It's been fantastic. Actually, you guys aren't bad. I might save you. <laughs> I might save you at the next watch. But if uh, Vernon doesn't help Hi. you with the uh, fucking pet uh, child's uh, book. Yes, he's so going to. He's I definitely. Might save him. <laughs> and look, whoever. Look, I hope you're about You're getting well. soft in your old age, man. You're, you're sparing humans. Hey, who you calling old bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was looking in the mirror. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking mean, lean fighting machine. But s- sparing look, people. Look, is there? Is that? Look, I hope your guy gets well, man. I'm sorry that. Thank you, man. You, know, you tried to bump me, and he missed the best interview of his entire podcast career. What a douche! Uh, I hope he gets better. <laughs> I'm gonna rub. I'm gonna shove a rubber sword up his ass when I get to New Orleans next time. Hell yeah! <laughs> he'll he'll enjoy oh, that. And the great thing about New Orleans is, like, we can all go down to Aaron Rose or John Lafitte's or some shit and have some drinks, and we can just carry him around on a pike. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he could be like a trophy. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you got, hey, look. Last thing I'm going to say. All right. No. It's you guys in New Orleans. I love that fucking town. I love the fact that the hard rock collapsed under a lot of people. That's cool. <laughs> that was a fun fucking show across the street from that place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But everybody down there and everywhere in America, from Jismac, from Guar, be safe, but stay sick. Yeah. Nice. So there you go, guys. We just had one of the greatest interviews of all time from that man right the there. The greatest. I mean, couldn't be any better. So, yeah. So, there you go. That was fucking Jizmac the Gusha from fucking Guar. Chin, chin, chin. It was very cool for him to take out the time and come do this show. Uh, I know they're fucking doing, like you, like you heard, they're doing all kind of shit. So, they, they've been on social media like crazy. Uh, Instagram, um, fucking Facebook Live. Uh, I'm not sure about Twitter because I'm not on there very often. And, uh, you know, all the other... Hoot Nanny. Isn't Twitter getting it? shut down? Is it? I didn't know. Maybe. <laughs> nah, that was some Trump shit. Ah, whatever. Uh, Trump. Oh, boy. <laughs> President with a Twitter he, account. Incredible. But he wants to, like, he's going after Twitter now because they put a fact check link under one of his tweets. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, go check out all the Guar stuff. Go to their, their new website. Um, war.net that's right and uh pick up their board game get there and don't don't miss out on the 30th anniversary uh scum dogs album it looks fucking phenomenal Vern, if you haven't seen it yet go check it out dude it's really no I, cool. I was actually uh just looking at it a minute ago and yeah it looks like they have the signed and the unsigned um, sweet and then there's so much versions. stuff there's so much stuff in it uh, it's the got, signed is on spatter vinyl, which yeah. looks really cool. <laughs> and they got like demo stuff on it too. Like, oh yeah, like there's, oh, there's a, like a, a demo like cassette a little... comes with it. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, okay. I see that. Yeah, yeah. and there's like a book with like flyers and shit. Yeah, there's a so poster cool. in it. There's like a like a it looks like an all access yeah. tour pass. Yeah, um, very fucking cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, and looks like prints, like art prints or something. Uh, there's all kind of stuff in there. And I, yeah, I'm just I'm just going by the picture of it. Like it looks fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, go check out all their stuff. And uh, Vernon, thank you, man. Thank you for doing the show. Uh, I know it was impromptu and uh, um, all that good stuff. You had to no reschedule problem. stuff. Cool. It was fun. I didn't have anything else I was doing, so it was good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just in case Adam's listening. Yeah, yeah, um, I know, I know. That's why I knew you. I knew you threw that in there. I was like, oh, sorry, Adam. I didn't mean to steal Vernon from you, but no, he he was he was totally cool with it, and he knew like what this meant. So, yeah, um, yeah, he was totally cool. We're rescheduling for a couple of days from now. Cool, awesome. 
but uh, I don't know what it's called, so I can't plug it here. I was gonna say, yeah, I'm not sure what it's called either. So I would, I would go, uh, go see Vernon somewhere else on Adam's show. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't remember <laughs> well, what it's called. We'll fix that in post. Yeah, yeah. No, we won't. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks again, guys, for listening. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I was your host, Wayne. I was your uh, fill and co host stuttering guy, not saying much, Vernon. Okay. <laughs> and remember, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to keep it, keep it, keep it! Adieu, adieu, parting with such sweet sounds. Go ahead and run. Run home and cry to mama. Get the fuck out. Okay, then. That's it. <laughs>